Hey everybody, welcome to Tactical Wisdom. We're out on the trail today, kind of gathering our thoughts and trying to get a little better perspective on, on life after yesterday's events and some of the craziness that went on. But let me just start by saying this. Um, you can express yourself without saying silly, fed posty things that get us all in trouble. So we have to deal with reality um, as it is, not as we would like it to be. It's a pretty nice river right there, isn't it? So what that means is that while you uh, are guaranteed a freedom of speech by the Constitution of the United States, you need to understand that you really don't have one at this point. I know it's not fair, it's not right, it's not legal, but we have to deal with reality as it is, not as we want it to be. So the truth of the matter is this, we have to start realizing that fact, and we have to start being a little more cautious about what we say and who we say it to. And let's just be honest, the comments that this guy was making online were guaranteed to get him a response and not a good one. So be careful in what you say. I'm not saying you can't feel how you feel, but I'm saying let's, let's not get out there and make ourselves an easy target and make their job easy for them. I need every single one of you involved in the fight, and that fight involves the 2024 election as much as... As much as we know it's going to be rigged and we know what's going to happen, we still need to go through the motions and continue to follow all of our legal processes because that's the kind of folks we are. So we shouldn't be making their lives easy for them and removing ourselves from the playing field by doing silly things. I need every single one of you in it. Let's be careful in what we say online. We can organize and train and meet and have a good time and make our feelings known without Fed posting. Now I know some of you Fed posters are going to comment down below about muff freedom of speech. They already took it from you. You need to stop fighting that fight. It's already gone. Uh, feel how you want, but you don't necessarily have to express every single thought online and give them a target to point at and say, see, these people are dangerous. We need to go deal with them. And we need to deal with them violently, just like we did with that guy in Provo, Utah. Let's be a little more careful in what we say. Let's not take the bait. Uh, I get it. It gets old hearing that. But there will be a time, uh, and maybe, maybe even the election changes it. Maybe that's our, maybe that's our moment. We don't know. Um, but now is not the time. Uh, just like Jesus told Peter, now is not the time. Uh, there will be a time when a reckoning happens, whether it's through legal process or through elections or otherwise. Uh, but we have to go through every single process correctly. And that means not giving them easy wins and letting them call us extremists and crazies. So be careful. Don't take the silly bait. Don't do dumb things. Thanks, guys.